Hi there, this is Lori Johnson with Mobile Tax Pro. And this video is instructions for new clients letting you know how to upload your documents to the client portal. So starting from the website, if you have not received a direct link from me to the Secure File Pro client portal, from the website, it's under number two, upload your documents with convenience. And if you click here on upload, it's going to take you to the client portal, which is at mobiletaxpro.securefilepro. And if you were an existing client, you would have a portal account already, but because you don't, you will be entering your documents into the client guest exchange. So you simply click on upload, and it's requiring just a few pieces of information, your name, your email address, confirm your email address, enter a note if you have one, and then click over here to start uploading your documents. Now, if you are uploading using a mobile device, like a cell phone or an iPad, when you click select, it will give you the option of looking through the files on your mobile device or taking a picture with your camera. And so doing it with your cell phone makes it so that you don't have to upload those, device, those documents to your computer. Um, and it just makes it so convenient because the camera phones nowadays can take a picture of the entire sheet. I can blow it up and make and see everything on that. But when you are on the computer and you click select, it will bring up your documents and you can select the documents that you would like to upload to me. Now this first document is the tax organizer and typically it's the tax organizer that I send to you. Um, and it gives me information that is not found on any of your other tax documents like your W-2 or any of your receipts. For example, your date of birth or the names, date of birth and social security numbers of your dependents. It also reminds you of information that I will need. For example, I, if you are going to get a refund, I would need your direct deposit bank accounting number and routing number. And it just reminds you to provide all of that information to me. So again, you can go back again and select the rest of your documents, like your W-2 form. And then down here, you're just clicking open and then select, click on the form, like your itemized deduction receipts, and then click open. And once you have selected all of your forms, and it's not necessarily necessary for you to kick, click this up button unless you can't see what's going on down here. But if you can't see these two buttons down here, you wanna click on this up button and that'll just kind of hide what you have uploaded so that you can find this green upload button and press it. And once you do, it might take a couple of seconds for all of these forms to process, but then it will upload and it'll be voila. So I'm gonna click this button. And as you can see, that tax organizer, the W-2 and the itemized deductions are uploaded. They're sent to me and I get an email notifying me that you have uploaded your documents. And then you're all good and you're just waiting for me to process your return um, and let you know that it's time for your tax return review um, interview. All right, thanks and see you next time.